Good morning traders, this is Marco. We have the 30th of December. It's one day before the year close. And yeah, it's Friday. We have the last bye bye bar for this year. And as you can imagine, most traders are on holiday already. So there's not too much price action. But to give you an idea how to trade on the slow days, uh, we will just uh, start with this bar by bar now. So what you can see here, I'm coming to the PC always around uh, 7.30. And um, yeah, I see like this overnight price action. We have like two legs down here. So I can start drawing uh, my, my trend channel, something like this. You can see when maybe I zoom in a bit more for this downtrend, we have a break. Then uh, price has made a new low, no setup here. I'm drawing the range. You can see how prices are going sideways here. And yeah, this is the opening already. This you can see by changing the color to, to white here. It's always a sign for me that the markets are open and trading uh, can start. So price is moving within this range here. You can see the support and the resistance is respected, but I don't see any setup here because, um, yeah, uh, we had the break of the structure, retest of the lows and now sideways action. So we can look for potentially longs of the support, but then we need some like a higher low, for example, or a short from the resistance here. Um, but yeah, right now it's very stacked. The range is very small. So no setup here. We're breaking to the low side and most breakouts out of uh, ranges fail. So consider this. Um, this is not a higher low here because this bar is starting inside this last bearish bar. Uh, so we cannot take this here and prices come back inside the range, but no setup. This is a, a few bull bars in a row. So I'm drawing always my shorter term channels. These kind of channels help you to stay on the right side of the trade and not to do any counter trades. So um, yeah, consider this. We have a break, potentially retest of the highs here. And we're going lower again. This is uh, very congestive here. Nothing to take. And we're going lower again. So maybe there's some channel in play. We can try drawing a channel from maybe this perspective here. Can test it like this. Price has made a new high here. We have a touch here, then two touches here and prices go down. Also the lower side of the channel is fitting very nicely and the midline shows at least some resistance here, also resistance here. So let's see if we get the confirmation of this channel, maybe to the uh, lower or to the top side. Prices trend strongly lower here. You can see this very strong bear bus, but um, there's no trade here. We have a first break of the shorter term channel working lower here. You can see it like working lower first break. So we would like to see a retest of the lows and also prices broke out of this little congestion here, this little range. So um, there could be a retest of the breakout area, area which, which can happen here if I extend this here. So prices break out, pull back and continue lower. So that's that's a um, very sign if that happens. So let's see prices stacking up here around the EMA. And now we have a very strong bearish bar here. Um, I have to check. Is this a second entry? No, it's not. Prices made a new low here. So it's like a first entry. It depends if this bar first broke lower, then came back and then continued lower. Um, but this can be also a uh, failed second entry long. With this strong um, bearish bar here, I consider a short here, 
but also it's um, stacked up big time. You can see like one, two, three, four bars are stacked up here, but uh, this is a very strong momentum bar. So if you are aggressive, you can consider this short here. By the way, this bar is 21 takes, so it's a high risk bar. Um, so if you want to wait for the short setups, you have to skip this because it's congestive and yeah, too much risk here. <clears throat> Prices go lower, you would be um, out of this trade already. And prices continue lower. Touching this channel here. And potentially overshooting the channel, I'm not sure. Let me draw the, the line here. Okay, hard to say. If I extend the channel maybe like this, then it could be, mm. but the lower side is not fitting well. So I leave the channel how it is here. And uh, yeah, maybe this could be an overshoot, but uh, ideally an overshoot would be a couple of bars breaking or overshooting the channel to the low side. Now maybe it's like two or three bars here. We have to check um, after an overshoot, we see many times a break of the structure. So um, right now I'm careful in uh, taking any more shorts because I want to see further confirmation. We're trending up here. This is congestion, no trades. You can draw the um, mini range if you want. And prices go higher. So maybe it's worth to draw a channel here. Maybe like this, we can try playing with this channel. Um, prices go higher and now it's getting interesting because we're approaching the uh, downtrend uh, channel resistance here and then we always want to see prices reaction of this channel. So we have a touch here and a direct direction, a bounce off this level here, um, but see we are in this uptrend structure here. So right now we are ha having a downtrend playing against the shorter term uptrend channel. So we have to see direction now of prices here at the uptrend. We have a clear support here of this uptrend here and the EMA. So uh, right now, this is very confusing because I cannot tell you which structure to play. We have this bigger downtrend versus this uptrend here. And this uptrend here may be broke here for the first time now. So we want to see a retest of the highs. Um, but it's also directly, if you consider a long here, going long into the resistance of this downtrend channel. So whenever we are not sure, we are skipping here. But I can also switch this uh, shorter term um, trend channel working lower here. First break retest of the lows. And this now is a failure because you can see prices made a new high here. So first entry long, second entry long. This is the second entry long. So all the longs that are going long here, um, expecting a potential retest of this channel here, uh, of the highs going long here, uh, we can um, like trap them by entering a short here. But this bar has 19 ticks. So if you consider this setup here as an engulfing setup, for example, that you go uh, short um, right here or on a limit order, so you can reduce the risk of this huge bar here, 19 takes, then I think this trade is a very good short as we have this bigger structure here in play. We see this bounce off here, then prices were pushing below the EMA. Uh, finding support here with this very strong bearish momentum bar that's almost finishing perfectly on uh, on the lower side. So um, yeah, if you consider this trade on an engulfing or limit order, then I think this, this can be a good trade. If this is too advanced or you say 19 ticks, this is too much risk and just skip the setup. Um, it's um, understand understandable if you do so so if you if you went here you would be out of the trade already we have some support here of this last um, range you can see prices bounce off this level and we're going higher so after all 
now we see a retest most probably of this um, uptrend here but you can also see that we have another bounce here of this downtrend resistance here you can see this very nice bearish bar bouncing off but i'm very careful now because this structure here broke for the first time we didn't have a retest yet and also consider this last overshoot that we had here if it was an overshoot then um, yeah going short here um, is is very risky also you have this uh, four following bull bars and um, there there was a break but no clear retest of the highs yet so after this four uh, bull bars i think i cannot risk going short here even though uh, this bar looks very interesting but we don't have a setup here we just have like a prices made a new low here so we just have a first entry nothing else so um, yeah nothing to take here and we're going higher retesting the highs of the shorter term channel so by now this channel here could be played out I'm going much higher having a retest <clears throat> and finding some resistance here now let's see if there's maybe a bigger structure in play let me check maybe like this doesn't fit too well and this looks more like congestion now we have to wait and see what prices are doing because right now price action is not too clear uh, for me we're going lower here maybe there's another range you can see how many ranges there are today so it's like very slow and prices are uh, not very decided going lower here now maybe there's a channel you can check it like this maybe breaking this channel here um, okay if you consider this this is just the first entry and also it's very congestive here so you see like one two three four bars stacked up it's not very clear what's going on the EMA is right in the middle so uh, yeah we have to skip this here there's, there's no setup here um, I want to see something more clear and also price action is not very decided right now so uh, skipping this here that could be another range um, let me check I will just take this now you can see this range also fits pretty well here so there's no clear direction there's a higher low here now um, but the structure is not very clear we have this shorter term channel working lower break retest of the lows so there could be a second leg down um, so going long here directly into the resistance of this range i think this you cannot do so we skip this higher low here it would have worked but it's it's way too risky um, we're going higher here coming back inside this range most breakouts fail you can see prices break out here it's a very strong bearish bar coming back inside the range there's a lower high here now uh, back inside the range um, but yeah it's hard to say what's what's going on here um, if you if you want to play this and you still think that this structure here this downtrend here is in play and this was not an overshoot then we had the first break of the structure and uh, we would like to see a retest of the lows um, but yeah consider this was a strong push higher this is a strong push higher we're coming back now inside uh, the range so if you consider this as a lower high back inside the range then it's a, it's a risky setup but um, yeah I can see reasons why uh, to take this setup here and it would have worked coming lower can draw a bigger channel here <clears throat> breaking this channel for the first time maybe we can see a second entry short or something 
but we also have the support of this range here and this is exactly what what i was afraid of it's not a second entry because price is made you low here so first entry short second entry short um so that would be a third entry short but it's right into the support of this range here but i also can understand we have this channel working lower here so it's the first break and we didn't uh, see a retest of the structure yet but uh, it's very congestive here so i skipped this setup would have worked going lower here no setup here and we are finding some support here maybe i draw like a bigger support line because we can see there is some reaction we have this support line pretty much creating here we found some support here now we find some uh, other support here so it's like okay this this is interesting now because prices tested this level uh, once now for a second time but also look at this it's very congestive can you go long right into this uh, resistance of this mini range here i think i cannot do it i would like to see this bar closing low here to take a long to take a scalp maybe back to the EMA or something but taking a long here i know there is a support and it was tested many times but this is so congestive so i want to play it safe here and not taking anything would have worked but that doesn't matter prices um build a spike here now and maybe it's a channel so spike and channel structure um, and you can see here's already live price action so this day is really not uh, very volatile and not too much price action but let's see where we go um, there is a first entry long and this is very congestive now cannot take this here if you consider a second entry long we would like to see a much better bullish signal bar and this is congestion so you cannot take anything here <laughs> okay this reaction is pretty clear and uh yeah this is live price action so maybe the channel is like this yeah and uh, in general uh that's it for today really not too much um we were speaking about this setup here but it's a high risk um um, bar from from um, size point of view i like this setup here on an engulfing limit this was a nice lower high back inside the range here after this retest um, of the shorter term channel so yeah there's not too much else to say um, whenever price action is that slow then uh, you have to really think if you want to risk setups because prices want to fool you in in the trade um, but um, most times it's it's worth to just wait and do nothing or just go home and um, yeah enjoy the rest of the day so yeah this was it i hope you liked it uh, please um, i'm saying this always um, like this video and subscribe to our channel um, we try to grow this here and um, yeah to make it available for you guys so um yeah please like and subscribe i wish you a great new year 2023 of course amazing trades and yeah good learning process thank you very much for this year i hope it was a great year for you and uh, speak to you next week